Hello everyone, welcome. Um, summer's here and the time is right for getting <laughs> social. Um, so welcome to our annual Totally Socially Big Conversation at the Street. <coughs> um, a bit of housekeeping first of all for those who um, haven't been here before. If the fire alarm does sound, it's not a, um, it, it's, it's not a test. Uh, you need to um, leave the building. The fire escapes are clearly signed or you can follow um, any of the staff um, who will lead you out to the muster point, which is at the, uh, um, outside the cafe, but into the car park, so we're away from the glass. Um, the loos, as you've probably already seen, are just outside the door and around the corridor. Um, if you need to get up and, and make yourself feel more comfortable during the morning, please do so. Um, and there will be um, a wonderful lunch provided for us at, um, whatever time this is on the agenda, about 12.30. 12 um, Okay, so once again, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you to our beautiful building. We, we love the street. Everyone who's been here before will know how much we, we love the street. Um, today is really about you. It's about continuing our conversations about how local people, just like me and you, can make a real difference in our own communities. How our, life, how our ideas can be channeled into sustainable solutions for everyday living, which improve lives generate pride and purpose and enable individual and community prosperity. By taking back power and by applying collective agency, we can help to initiate a local economic reset which will enable our communities to develop resilience, flexibility and innovation in addressing local issues and creating positive transformations. The ethos of CAPCA, my organisation, is about the importance of people making connections, a pride in place and the sharing of power. We can collectively address the dominant barriers to involvement, poverty, transience, fragmentation and isolation and help to create work, investment and income for local people, providing places for people to meet and gather and devising new ways of being involved locally. Independent social action can create positive change, can address these persistent barriers and to be innovative we actually need to build on success, focus on our assets and learn from what's gone before. We still need community level infrastructure, social and economic, to enable this to happen. CAPCA has our own vision for the coast. The Yorkshire coast is a place where social, local and community led action and enterprise is valued, supported and understood. Where the usual practice of every business is a commitment to social value principles of local recruitment, local procurement, providing a living wage and social innovation where we all across all sectors work together in genuine collaboration with local people on a shared agenda. A place where young people are proud, motivated and can see the real opportunities that are available locally, including those that they can create for themselves. Our communities are made up of all kinds of people with all kinds of personal experiences, ethics and motivations. We're fortunate to live in a stunning part of the country with amazing natural built and social assets at our disposal. There's a really strong social ecology <coughs> and a desire to work together to make things happen, but aspirations, we're told, are persistently low. Or are the aspirations we are expected to hold simply out of kilter with local realities? The civil society agenda and the interest central government holds in it seems to be seeking to support the strengthening of our role, the role of civil society. And this in turn provides the opportunity for us to push the boundaries and make real the rhetoric. I believe we've got the tools at our disposal locally, many in this room, to make real the aspiration of strengthening communities, forging sustainable relationships and sharing collective power. Collectively applying the values of inclusion, respect and tolerance to what we do, embracing difference, listening to and critically understanding different perspectives and motivations. Together we can provide the right kind of opportunities that will be relevant locally meaningful and challenging. We have a responsibility to ourselves and to our future generations to prepare them adequately for the challenges they will face and the opportunities they may realistically have to create for themselves. Kafka are the people who like to say yes, I believe there was a blank that used that, and we're passionate about listening and learning, helping shape initial ideas into viable responses, learning, always learning about what drives, motivates, comforts, supports <coughs> and strengthens individual and collective resilience. I'm optimistic that by continuing to do these things, by continuing to listen to real lived experiences and by being proud of ourselves, our communities and our places, we can start to revitalise people and places, creating a new vibrancy and enthusiasm. 
Sector divisions are artificial, meaningless. We seek to blur the distinctions and seek commonalities rather than differences. We're all part of making the change that we collectively believe is needed and we can be the catalyst for action, the glue that binds people and the values we hold that promote diversity and mutual support are <coughs> instrumental. <coughs> we know what we can do with small opportunities. Scold me phone box. Um, I saw Bob on the news and that resulted in the adoption of a, a, a traditional red phone box in Scolby, which now has a community defibrillator. I can't even say it. Defibrillator in it. The street garden, we, we had to save money when we were building this building so the garden was left empty. Following one of these events, we met with a few people who wanted to make a difference. We now have a vibrant, um, colourful, um, beautiful garden that everyone can enjoy in the community. And we've recently been, um, been offered a small parcel of land adjacent to the Cinder Track in Newby to ensure that it remains accessible for community use in the future. We want to hear your ideas about what we can do with that piece of land. It's an asset that we can all use, that we can make use of. Um, so we are going to talk about that um, later on this morning, but don't limit your thinking to just that piece of land. We want to hear your ideas, we want to know what drives you, what motivates you, and what will make a difference. Today is about continuing to listen and to share, and it's also about inspiration. So we're delighted to welcome um, Sorry, we're delighted to welcome. Oh, there you are. Gareth from Regather, thank you so much for coming. And John Walt from the Horse Community Office. So we hope that they'll inspire you, um, and I'll hand over straight away.